Ah, stick that over there. Right, so why is this not working? That's the next question. Let's have a look. Huh. Right, so close that window. Okay. Then I'm going to... Right, exit the entire VR. Yeah, we'll just restart it from scratch and see if it, see if it does anything. Ah, dear me. Have I gone live? Probably not. There's a bit of a delay. Also, I'm just going to turn my voice down just a little bit because I think I'm a bit... I think my voice is this loud because we play shooter games. So in a fishing game, it's a bit... Oof. And of course, it's the vibe, so the quality is a bit rubbish. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Right, so there we go. So all of the systems for Steam VR are now offline. Okay, so let's restart it and see if it makes a difference. Oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry. Good morning. Yes, I'm so sorry for being 40 minutes late. Apologies, folks. Um, I woke up much later, uh, so I overslept and missed my alarm. And then I took the dog for a walk and then got some breakfast. Okay, what's this? Sorry. Update permissions. Whoa. Yep. Update permissions. Was that it? Is that permissions problem? Okay, so let me just... Sorry, bear with me. I'm just trying to sort out... So um, I went for a dog walk and then got some breakfast. And... Uh, please work. Yes, there we go. I've got it. And yes, I've got them both. Lovely. Right. So, uh, and yeah, and then I was just trying to faff around get the, getting the VR working, and it was refusing to behave this morning. One of the controllers just wouldn't wouldn't get... To, it would switch on, but it, would, it refused to be detected in any any way by the, um, the Vive infrared boxes. Okay, so the game is launching. Please bear with me. Good morning. Good morning, indeed. Indeed, fix my upload schedule. <laughs> I think that I think we got a new meme now, don't we? Uh, a battle cry sung across from Holdfast across the entire fan base. Oh, uh, dearie me. I don't even know who that guy was. Just some random guy at the back of the line. What a bastard. Um, right, so good morning. Good morning and welcome, everybody. I hope you're all okay. Ho hope you're having a lovely Friday. And welcome to it. Welcome to your Friday. Um, please let me know if the music gets too loud. I've turned it down a little bit, but it might get a bit overbearing. <clears throat> so, welcome to a bit of VR fishing. I'm going to go VR fishing in uh, fishing, what is it called? Fishing simulator something or other. I've, oh, I've forgotten the name of the game. What's it called? It's fucking... Hang on. Uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator VR. So, um... Today, on this stream, what I need to do is I need to try and grind about $400 in-game in order to get access to the lake that I want to fish on. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So hang on a second, let me just switch over to the VR properly. I've, I've, got, I've got the thing on my forehead right now. Ah, dearie me. Right, hang on. So, stick that there. Get into the game. Okay. Oh, is, do I have the chat? I don't appear to have the chat in the game itself. Bear with me just a moment. Is that because the plugin is not running? So look, nope, the plugin has decided to crash. Okay, bear with me. So loading plugin, loading profile, connecting, closing the plugin, and then. Right. Oh, is it on? Yeah. So why is that not working? Okay. Right, there we go. So I should be able to see the chat and you guys shouldn't. There we go. So yeah, you can only see the controller. You can't see the chat that's floating above it. So if I hold my controller like this, um, I'm not snogging it or anything. I, I'm reading the chat. There's a chat box here that you can't see. So that's cool. So it appears for me, but not on the footage, which is another handy thing. So I can read the chat a bit more actively without having to worry about it constantly appearing on the footage. You want to see Lulu? I'm <laughs> okay. She's... Oh, I'd show you Lulu, but she's got the curtain open, so you'd be able to see outside and then see the road that I live on, and then people would find me and murder me, which would be most inconvenient. I don't want to get murdered. Ah. So, yes, um, so a quick update then for uh, yeah, to let people know what I'm doing. Um, so, on the YouTube front, 
Uh, I'm not. So I haven't started the latest bullshittery yet. Instead, I'm doing a side project. So I have some side projects that I sometimes do in the form of video essays or cartoons. Well, one cartoon at the minute. There's about three that I can make, but one of them is stuck in development hell. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm spending a few weeks just working on these side projects um, for reasons of mental well-being. Uh, I find that if I alternate precisely what I'm working on a little bit, I don't go... You know, full burnout is what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. I'm working on a side project for the minute, and we'll get on with the next bullshittery soon. TM. If you're a patron or a Twitch sub, I will send you my work soon and be like, is this okay? Do you like this? And, um, yeah. Right, so bank stick. For now, let's alternate and switch over to a float. What's this? Sorry. That's a feeder. Ah, uh, should I go with the spinner? Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go with the spinner for now. Just keep it cheap. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now... Right, here we are at the lakeside. So how's the audio balance, folks? Is it okay? Has the same graphics as Farming Simulator. <laughs> oh, hello. Gasira, 41. There's another player here. Oh, I can see his stats. Score, 480. Yeah. I'll go somewhere else so I'm not rude to him. Hang on. I'll go over here, further down the bank. Right. Use my hunter vision. So pressing this button, I can get a quick visual of the lake. There we go. So we'll aim straight in the middle out there. All right, here we go. Oops. That was a rubbish cast. Let's try that one again. Oh, it's the underwater view. There we go. Move that other way. There we go. That's better. Right, so... So I'm just going to start with a bit of spinner fishing. It's going to be a bit of a grind this morning because I need to try and get about $400 in order to unlock the lake that I want to go to. So right now the spinner is sinking to about 4 meters, which I think is the depth... Eh, Okay, uh, so four and a half meters is the depth of the lake. There we go. Now I want to try and st a stop and go method. So hang on a minute. So what happens if I stop and go? So replicating a fish that's sort of moving from point to point in the reeds like this. So as the spinner moves, it looks like a small silver fish, a prey fish. There we go, we got something. Okay, up the resistance on the line. Okay, there we go. It's fairly meaty, actually. It's not a small fish. There we go. So the real resistance... So it's trying to pull off some line here. But because the resistance is so high, it's struggling to do so. And then every time the fish turns to me, I reel in some more of the main line. There's another fisherman over there. Another angler. So there we go. I can feel the resistance on the line. It feels like a trout. Okay... So trout being predatory, a predatory cold water fish, they like their clear water. They love to dive and go straight for straight for small fish and insects and stuff. There we go. So it saw the spinner and it thought, it is a trout. Yes, it is. Quite small, though. So it's a brook trout. So it's worth $4. Now I can sell it for an additional nine, or I can get two additional experience. Ah! Uh, we just need cash right now. So yeah, lovely colour on that. Love the belly. Ooh, predatory fish, everybody. Right, so I'd like to sell that one. Cool. Right. You'd like to do some armour 3 with ZF? Ah, oopsie, fuck. Um, well, we do it periodically, uh, Mr. Cup. Um, I think some of the guys, I think Digby in Quebec, Digby especially, for fuck's sake, they're running loads of uh, operations at the minute. I haven't played in a little while, like a year or so. There we go. Ah, oh dear. Hmm. Right. It's quite, un uh, sorry, this is quite expected from me, an educational stream. <laughs> Don't give us the cup. Well, um, I'm, I, I love fishing. I took up fishing again as a hobby uh, about a year ago because I realized that, well, I used to go fishing when I was a teenager, but I was priced out of the hobby because it's surprisingly expensive. Even the most basic bits of equipment. 
will put you back quite a significant amount. And if you're a teenager with a £10 a month allowance, that's all I got when I was, you know, doing this as a teenager. Once something broke, you just couldn't replace it. So, uh, effectively, I was priced out of the hobby that I enjoyed. But last year, I realized that I was stuck indoors editing all day and, frankly, losing my mind a little bit. So I decided to pick up some decent fishing gear. Thank you for it. Thank you very much, everybody. Really appreciate it. And um, go to some fishing lakes. So some proper stocked lakes over in uh, a place called Shoreham. And also, oh, there we go. Got another one. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's quick. It feels quite small, though. It doesn't feel like a big one. That's a small one. There we go. So I started going to Shoreham and Lewis. So uh, I say that because so Brighton is sort of flanked. Oh, there we go. Pumpkin seed. Oh, wow. New record. So I don't know anything about this type of fish, I'm afraid. I don't know if we have these in the UK. But yeah, pumpkin seed. $13. I can sell it for an additional $7. New record. So it's uh, 34 centimeters and it's 0.44 kilograms. It looks quite similar to a, bal a ras, so a type of saltwater fish that I used to fish, um, used to uh, get in harbours around Brighton. So the spines on the back and the coloration, they're very, very similar to what's called a, a balin ras, I think. But I'm sure it's has no relation. Right. There we go. This even shows the other players playing. So, hang on. So, the two of us right now? So, Brook Trout, the other player caught a bull trout worth two kilograms. Wow. Very nice. Nice fish. Okay. So, yes, I'm just grinding for trout right now. 21 meters, not great. Probably just do a straight lure. What's the biggest fish biggest fish I ever caught? So I caught some pretty massive ones when I was a teenager, but I'm not counting them because, frankly, it feels like a lifetime ago. Um, and I didn't really record them very well. So I'm only going with what I caught last year, which wasn't amazing. I think my largest was a carp that was about uh, 55 centimeters from mouth to, to fin tip. Oopsie. And uh, how much did it weigh? It wasn't even that big by carp standards. I think it was something like three three point something kilograms so it's small so i've still got plenty of uh, records to beat personal best to beat frankly i look forward to it I, I, I look forward to going fishing more this year i just need to take the time really hang on i'm gonna reset that there we go yeah but frankly hi birdie uh frankly as i mentioned i'm, I'm doing it mainly to just get out of the house you know to get out the flat and not be sitting in front of a PC, he says, sitting in the middle of his flat with a VR, set of VR goggles on. It has been mentioned before, but it's, it's the sort of thing that I... It might be fun to try and live stream it, but at the same time, I'm not so sure fishing is necessarily the most appropriate hobby um, for live streaming. It may be interesting to watch, but it's one of these hobbies where talking is not really... It's a bit, it's a bit taboo. It's all about peace and quiet. Having an, an angler sitting on the side of the lake babbling would be fucking annoying, frankly, if I were there. Even if he's babbling quietly. <clears throat> can, can you go deep sea fishing for swordfish or something in this game? I think you can. There's like a, a there's, you can. There are a bunch of like different shark species that you can fish, but I don't know where. I'm guessing in the open ocean somewhere. Do I ever take Lulu out fishing with me, or is she not so good for it? So I do occasionally unusual, but I'm going to be honest, she's not as much fun as I thought she'd be when, when fishing. Uh, she gets bored, so she's not a gun dog, she's a toy dog. So she's not used to sitting still for long periods of time. She wants to dig holes, she's out in the open, she wants to go for walkies, she wants to explore and harass the other anglers to see what they're doing. So um, sometimes I leave her with the, there's like a local dog sitter. It's not not a real dog sitter, more just a family friend that lives nearby. And so I leave Lulu with her and she can run up and down their garden and dig holes and play with her doggy boyfriend that she's got. It's like another dog that she's really fond of. So right now I'm just doing a quick like, little pull one at a time. Where's the spinner? There it is. So I'm making it look as if it's just Dragging itself along the lake surf, uh, lake bed. Hey, 
How's the music, folks? Is it too quiet or too loud? Or just fine? Maybe it's too low in the water layer. a straight pull so make it look like a fish is darting for cover oh hello that's a big trout there <clears throat> nah. music's fine good good a tad too loud uh okay most people say it's fine cool right let's use my hunter vision again so oh hello big fish big big fish down okay hello whoa spinner right in my face <clears throat> Alright, let's keep it relatively... Keep it relatively high in the water layer. Maybe stop and go doesn't work if it's high in the water layer. Let's just go with slow. Straight slow. So as the spinner moves through the water, there's a small metal... A bit like a spoon. I believe some of these are in fact called spoon spinners. So imagine the end of a spoon sort of flitting. There we go. Fish found it. No, it's quite small. It can't even beat the resistance on the line. It's tiny. So as it goes through the water, it's, it shimmers and it looks like a prey fish that's in trouble. <laughs> oh man, you're teeny tiny. Okay. Oh dear. Right. Let's have a look. Uh, so how sh how I don't know how far down the water they are. They look quite deep. Let's let it sink for a bit. Okay. Why does I say that I'm dead when you uh, when you ask them about me? Well, I am dead. Uh, this is me in the afterlife, you see, because you know it's fishing. Clearly, I'm I'm in heaven. Right. So stop and go. So I'm just trying to grind cash right now. The other guy's going for brown trout. Oh, he's catching two two kilograms. Easy. Wonder what his trick is. Maybe I'm pulling too quickly. Maybe I just need to let it sink. There is spinners on the ground. Oh, hello. Ah, hey, trout. <laughs> right. Right, okay. Hmm. The stop and go method isn't really getting the big ones. Let's just go with a slow spin. That seems to be getting me the bigger trout last time. Slow spin, medium, medium water layer. So about two meters. We'll let it sink to about two meters and then start reeling. So straight slow. Like so. See how we do now. So the spinner is just cycling through the water like that, as you can see. There we go. Pumpkin seed, goddammit. <laughs> ah, fucking things. So I keep getting pumpkin seeds, an undesirable fish, a nuisance fish. When I go fishing, so coarse fishing, the nuisance fish that you typically get would be roach or bream. So they tend to be the small shitty fish that no one really wants. People want carp. Although sometimes they can be, you know, some anglers really appreciate roach in particular. Some of them can be quite chunky. Another pumpkin seed. God damn it. I've only got 27. I need $400. I've only got 27. So hang on a minute. Let me just have a quick read. Tell me about that fish then. What is a pumpkin seed? I'm not familiar with that. Um, are these sorted in any particular way? Because they don't look sorted. 
pumpkin seed. Surely it'd be, yeah, default content. So, uh, small mouse, blue gill. Where are they? Just want to read more about them so I can, I can avoid them. Don't have I gone past them? These look quite similar. Mirror carp. Hmm. Oopsie. Damn it, I wish these were in alphabetical order. Hmm. Uh, sounding a bit congested. Yeah, I do feel congested now that you mention it. <clears throat> I think I'm just coming down with a cold. Yeah, this is what I really want. So, best luring method straight, lift and drop, stop and go, and twitching. I've never tried the twitching. How does that work? So, twitching, stop and go, twitching. Okay. 15 bull trout caught 8 brook trout okay skills to keep working my way up uh, leaderboard help hang on so spinning fishing to artificial lures here we go fly fishing so twitching consists of twitching the bait by regularly lifting the rod tip Okay, so I'll just put it in the middle of the lake and just start flicking it. Stop and go, repeatedly reeling the bait in and lowering it back down to the bottom, leaving it at the bottom for a short period of time. Lift and drop, we reel in the line slowly, using the lifting the rod tip every couple of meters in order to twitch it. Okay, I just need to practice with different methods, I guess. Okay. Right. Hmm. Indeed, yeah. Technically, I'm twitching, I suppose. Ah. So, how does that work, then? How does one make it twitch? Oh, that was it. <laughs> so, what, do I reel it, or...? I think I'm just pulling it towards me, but I'm not twitching it. Oh, hello. Something got it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even do anything. Something got it, though. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, maybe you are quite big. You're pulling hard on a... F okay, hang on. What are you? What are you? Come on. Hello. You are... No, you're tiny. <laughs> oh, no, you're not too bad. A brook trout. Okay, $27 worth an additional 11. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I will... Oh, sorry, no, that's my total, isn't it? You're only worth $11. Oh, okay. Right, hang on. Let me try something else. So let me go and get rid of the spinner. And instead, we'll have a float. Just go back to my... Yeah, a lightweight float, only two grams. Equip that. Hooks. Let's equip a... Uh, what should we get? Yeah, level one. What else have we got here? Level one, price $33. Extortionate prices. Ridiculous. Max bait amount, two. Oh, if I can double stack my baits, that would be handy. Damn it, I don't want to sell... I don't want to buy, buy new stuff, though. I just need to get a new fishing license. Okay. Equip a size 6 hook. That should be fine. Okay. And then as for baits, let's do some flies. There we go. Yeah. For... They do go for insects, don't they? And as for... Yep, put it to about... Uh, just over a meter, so 127 centimeters. There we go. Alright, so I've, I'm switching over to float fishing. There we go. So with only a 2 gram float, I can't throw it very far. Oh, 32 meters isn't bad at all. Right. So we'll leave it there. So yes, as mentioned yesterday, the whole idea behind float fishing 
is you just uh, have most of the float beneath the water with only the very tip showing. Uh, this is to uh, have drag on the float and the line so that the whole thing doesn't drift awkwardly and makes it look suspicious to the fish. And also it only takes a tiny, tiny amount of effort on the fish's part to pull it under the water, indicating that there's something feeding. So the fly on the end of the hook, uh, the hook is completely hidden within the bait, ideally. Oh, hello. There we go. There we go. Strike. Gotcha. So it will take the bait into its mouth and then you pull it sideways to jam the hook into its mouth parts. Fish have some pretty, pretty, uh, well, oopsie, hold up, don't break the line. Fish have some pretty piercing resistant mouth parts, so don't worry too much. They're able to come bounce back easily from even the slightest, well, even the most barbed and painful looking hook able to just get, get rid of it and then just heal. If they didn't, they wouldn't survive in the wild. A lot of their prey items are sharp. <laughs> it's tiny. Uh, Six dollars. Okay. So 24 centimeters and 0.31 kilograms. Meh. Sell it. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Yes, old man simulator. Boomer simulator. <sighs> well... Fishing is a hobby that can be enjoyed by all ages, frankly. But you do appreciate it more, I find, when you're stuck indoors, staring at computer screens all day, just being outside at a nice, peaceful lake. You appreciate it. You really do. <laughs> is this the fly fishing you heard about? Technically, yes. <laughs> But fly fishing more specifically is replicating the act of an insect skipping along the surface of the water. Eh. Okay, so 39 centimeters, 0.54 kilograms. It seems reasonably reliable as a way of getting trout. Uh, can't see any biggies in the area. The heavier the float, the further you'd be able to cast it out. This one's only two grams, so technically I shouldn't even be able to get it 28 meters. That's uh, optimistic for a two gram float. Okay. Ah, oh, dear. It's not a boomer simulator until you're yelling at the kids for taking technology for granted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Alright. Once you spent a few years being paid to sit in front of a monitor, says Melancholic, uh, the fun soon wears off. Well, either, either, you know, just anyone who sits in front of a monitor, if you're sitting in an office, or hell, if you're just sitting in, in like a... like a, as a cashier. Well, it, it just... If you just want to get outside, it's just a nice hobby. If, if you want to get outside, just get some damn fresh air, you know? It's a very peaceful hobby with moments of adrenaline because suddenly, holy shit, you've got to catch this fish. Oh, that's, that's nice. What's this? Ah, how do you pronounce that? Oh, it's a new record. An Eid? Eidy? Eid? Eid? Eight dollars? What sort of fish is this then? So its mouth parts indicate... So it wouldn't be a bottom feeder because its mouth parts aren't the right shape. So if they were the other way round, like a carp, then it would be scooping stuff, stuff up from the surface of the lake, uh, from the, the silt. So maybe a midwater feeder? I don't think it's predatory. Yeah. No, I don't know what sort of fit. I don't know what, what the sort of fish is. That looks pretty though. Lots of scales on it. Some of the fish have much larger scales than this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to actually sell you. What? <laughs> I'll do that from now on. If I if I sell them, I'll throw them back there as a van, and they'll, they'll grab them and put them on ice. Cool, there we go. Right. Fuck ass. Hang on. Do that again. <clears throat> that was a good cast. 48 meters on a 2 gram float. What the fuck? Uh, it's like rud or roach. Ah, it did look a bit like a roach, just a bit a bit larger. So roach, yeah, so they're, they're considered a bit of a nuisance fish because they keep stealing bait as it falls through the water layer. Uh, you roach, you're probably familiar with the horse in The Witcher, named after that fish. So a very common fish in Europe, including Poland. 
again, a nuisance fish that no one, well, few people really appreciate. <clears throat> Some people do, though. Some people have. Um, uh, well, I've never, I've, I've never used them myself. I've seen people on the lake use them. Instead of having a proper rod like this, they have a, they have a pole. So they have a pretty simple pole. With, I, I think that the line doesn't even move. I think it's static on the end. I think. That might be wrong. And yeah, you just see them dipping this pole into the water and then lifting the whole thing out with a roach on the end. They seem to be going for lots of lots of roach, trying to get... Oh, hello. Okay, some resistance on the mono. Their tactic seems to be going for lots and lots of common fish rather than waiting an hour or more for a really big fish. Oh, it's another one. Hello. Oh no, it's a cutthroat trout. Cool. Yeah. Strange colour on that. So yes, freshwater, cold water predatory fish, the trout. Although they, they you know, not just earth fish, they can, can go for insects, flies and stuff. Apparently in, during the winter they come up to the surface just beneath the ice, so they make a popular fish for ice fishing. Yeah. Which compared to a lot of other fish who go deep to escape the cold. Right, I'm actually going to set the let's set the hook length, so the length from the float to the hook. It's not technically true in, ter in terms of terminology. The hook length is the weaker part of the line that you tie. So, so imagine this. Imagine this is your main line. So let's say this is about well, this one. I'm not sure what breaking strain this is, but let's pretend for the minute that this is a six pound breaking strain. So it would take six pounds of of pulling strength to break the line but what you do round about here is you tie a hook length so you use a fisherman's knot to tie on a weaker section of the line much weaker so if i was using a six pound i would put on a four pound or maybe even a three pound on the hook length so the reason for that is that if you get a snag or something goes wrong, or the fish is just too big, it will only break off the hook. It won't break off your float, your weights, you know, all the all the annoying stuff that it's going to take you a while to replace. It will just go, and just break off the hook length. And then, of course, all it's got in its mouth is the hook, and it just goes, and just spits it out within the space of a few minutes. <clears throat> so it's a safety measure. Well, and a cost-saving measure, because you don't want to fuck about replacing all of these other bits that are potentially more expensive than a hook. Indeed, uh, MCR. I'm a yeah. Uh, I like angling in real life. I went uh, on Thurs uh, Thursday, Wednesday. Oh, hello, pumpkin seed. Da -da 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 -da. You're pretty dinky though. <coughs> Some people actually use different... Eh, four dollars. What? Sold. <laughs> Game developers, if you're if you're watching, I recommend that like as a gesture for selling it. <laughs> Just fucking fling the fish behind you and it sells automatically. I think that's a good idea. Hang on. Lower it back into the water if you want to if you want to release it. Fling it back somewhere behind you if you want to sell it. Right. Oh dear. So for the people joining the stream, right now I'm just kind of grinding fish, phrasing. Uh, $73. I need to get about $400 to afford a fishing license on a different level. For that has lots of carp that I want to go and get. Oh, is the float moving? Let's look underwater. There's a fly on the end of that. So another common method to try and stop small nuisance fish is on the float is to double stack your bait. So instead of having just a single fly, you can actually thread multiple on there and, and even thread them all the way up the line. So all you have to do is hide the hook. It doesn't... Oh, hello. Oh, what are you? You're some sort of catfish or eel or something. Hello. So it's nibbling and then I pull the hook sideways. There we go. Into its mouth parts. Don't know what this fish is. Let's have a look. Okay, so the float fishing with flies seems to be a consistent way of getting fish. Certainly not the big ones. Yeah, you're small. What are you? A burbot. Hello. A new record as well. 
What are you? Strange looking fish. I can't tell you anything about this. I have no idea what this is. Yeah. So the mouth parts and the whiskers on the front strongly implies that this is a bottom feeding fish. So this thing is probably going through the silt looking for, well, whatever it can eat. Anything that's hiding in the silt. Or stuff that falls from the surface. Hmm. <laughs> right. So how much have I got now? $76. We could be here a while. Right. Let's go check my hunter vision. Go try a different section of the lake. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, look at you. You're pretty. Yeah, let's, let's shimmy on down. Hang on. We'll go to the end of the lake. Okay, spin around here. Right. And cast over there. That might be a bit too far. Let's bring bring it in a bit. So I was dragging the fly through the water. Oh wow! Okay, leave it there. All right. <clears throat> so yes, for the people joining the stream. Sorry, I'll thank the subs in a minute. That they, they don't actually appear in front of my visor. I'm sorry if I'm missing you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so for the people joining the stream, please know that the latest YouTube project is not a bullshittery. I'm just doing something else for the sake of my sanity. I'm doing a side project in the form of some video essays that I sometimes do. Uh, it's one of the reasons that if you're, just, if you're not familiar with this and you're watching from YouTube, it's one of the reasons that I seem to disappear for so long. Sometimes it, it's not that I'm working on one project. It's just I've got some stuff in the background. Pardon me. Oh, no strike. Bugger. Oopsie, de oopsie daisy. We're still okay? Yep, we got... I wasn't paying attention to the float. <clears throat> so yeah, sometimes I, I disappear to work on something else for a bit. It's my intention to bring it onto the channel eventually, but... Uh, uh, yeah, just... Uh, side projects are difficult. Yes, the video is a strip tease, absolutely. <laughs> Fishing would be a lot easier in real life if you could just see where the fish are. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Float's gone. Up the resistance on the line. Oh, hello. <laughs> Right. Did I ever unlock that talent to go winter fishing? What are you? You are a a bull trout. Hello, another another bull trout. Sell for thirty three dollars. Nice, 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 nice. And we're gradually working our working our way up in the experience. Let's have a quick check and see. Hang on. So my current level. No, I don't have an auger, so I can't fish in the ice. Okay. That's well, damn near perfect. Holy shit. So, the, the, yeah, the, the, the bait is sitting, is sitting just above the, uh, the base of the lake there. So if you want to get the big fish, that will generally be where they're cruising, as they're relatively safe from their predators near the bottom of the lake. And the bigger the fish the better their swim bladder, so they'll be able to cruise deeper for longer. <clears throat> In fact, as I've mentioned before, whenever you arrive at a new lake and you're looking around, always pay close attention to any splashes you see in the water. For the big fish, what they tend to do is they tend to surface in the areas that they're feeding in order to reset their swim bladder in order to force all of the air out of their swim bladder and take another fresh gulp. So to do that, they literally, they, just, they, they leap out of the water. So carp in particular jump out of the water. And it's pretty breathtaking with some large carp. But it also indicates where they're feeding, which area of the lake that they are sifting through, because they go down again and resume feeding. So pay close attention to that whenever there's a splash right on cue holy shit 
pay close attention because it indicates where the big fish are potentially feeding. For that reason, let's bring that in. When do you unlock dynamite? <laughs> Alas, if you dynamite the lake, sure, you'll catch fish. But your following fishing session the next week is going to be pretty damn boring. Since you've killed everything in the lake. The hook doesn't match the size of the fish in this area. Consider using a bigger hook. I beg your pardon. Okay. A bigger hook than a size six? Wow. Okay. Sure. Well, we can do that. Holy shit. Size six is a pretty big hook. I mean, holy shit. Up to size four. Right. So yeah, the smaller the number, the bigger the hook. I've never used a size four. It's massive. A size, a size. Well, size six is huge. This is why you switch lakes. Uh, there's not that many lakes. <laughs> Also no Right, let me let me clarify. Where wherever you live, you'll rapidly find which lakes are the good ones and which ones are kinda shite. Plus if you let the fish go, they get wilier. They get wilier, they get bigger, and they get worth catching. Oh hello. No. Nothing? I saw the fish, but the float bob. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Yeah, there we go. Strike. Come on. Yeah, that's a nice one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello, bull trout. Hello. Look at you. Very nice. So, two point three four kilogram, fifty four centimeter bull trout, thirty seven dollars. So, fifty four centimeter. That's one centimeter off my my carp record. Again, as you can see, not not a not a very impressive record. I look forward to catching bigger carp. And it's a respectable fish. What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a child. <laughs> right. What do you call in English a rod with just a bait and no reel? I think it's called a pole. As in specifically, if you Google fishing pole, I think I, I've only seen them from a distance. I've never, I've never actually held one myself. Another gentleman on a lake in Lewis had one of those. Hmm. In fact, some people they. Uh, in fact, I ordered one. I, I it arrived. It's in the corner of the room over there. I uh, have got what what's called a stalker rod, which is effectively a sawn-off version. So instead of a ten-foot rod, it's only about five or six. And there's no float or anything. It's just it's just a hook with bait on it. And the idea is you're just dipping it into the water in what's called the margins. So the edge is around the lake. Because that's often where the big fish are hiding. Where they don't expect to get caught. In fact, many a venue, you can find the largest fish just beneath your jetty. Where you're fishing. Because everyone's casting out into the middle of the lake. No one's casting directly beneath. So they can, and also when many anglers are done with their fishing session, they'll just tip their bait into the water. So they're used to it. So like, oh, free food is going to rain down. Come on, fish. Nice tasty fly that's fallen down into the water. That's called a crab line. <laughs> if you're fishing for crab, yeah. But no, it's called fishing in the margins. Uh, it's often a, it's a common tactic in tournaments where people are trying to get the well, lots of fish quickly. They'll fish in the margins. Uh, alas, I can't tell you much about that. That though, I've never done a tournament or, or really know much about them beyond the fact that they exist. Hmm. Ah oh dear, hope you're all having a lovely Friday. Come on fish, let's have a look at my hunter vision. 
Oh, there's a big one over there. Come on, you want to turn right? Come this way. It's over there, by that rock. Oh, hello. Pretty. Okay. Maya is vomiting, huh? Is Maya in the chat? Hope you're well if you are. Hope Gracie's well. And Lily Poo. Come on. Fishy, 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 fishy. Have they all moved out of this area? They might have done. Should get some ground bait and throw it in. Oh look, there's some. There's three people on the on the on the lake now. She's vomiting. Oh shit, that sucks. Hope she's okay. She's probably pregnant. About time those two start making some freakish mutant baby. <laughs> With Maya's looks and cyanides. I don't know. Is <laughs> whatever it is he has going. It makes some weird. Oh wow. Weird. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of some quality that cyanide has. Sorry, that sounds like an insult. I'm trying to think of, of some amusing property that cyanide has that the baby would get. Love of cars, I guess. Love of food. That silly face of his. Yeah, they don't seem interested, do they? That's a nice fish, that one over there. Can I go deeper? Phrasing. No, this is as far as this, this hook goes. This uh, hook length goes. <clears throat> Right. Indeed. Um, I'll thank. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'm being very rude. I'll go and thank the subs. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Pull that out of the water. Oh. Just lift up the headset. Go over to the, my PC. Thank you, Falu and Alestro, Terraclon, Des. Sorry. Hang on. Um, the Sandman, BT, Bayerman, Llama for Life, Jen's Rune. Uh, Sunrise Leon, Buller Baller, Azure Guardian, Super Shot. Thank you, Super Shot, for the sub bomb. Uh, Random and Maggot and Allrack and I'm a Dino Raw. Silent Jojo, Spanky Dude, OG Player, C2H8N2, Krigo, Murder, Six, Ken Mole, Anki Mole, Nilla, Pantheon, and Tall Ship Sailor. Thank you all. You're, you're really, really kind to me. Thank you for your generosity, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry I didn't read out your name before. Thank you, Deadly Sin. Thank you. Sorry, can I just have a, qu a quick drink while I've got the headset off? <sighs> mm. Sorry, bear with me. I've got two glasses on this desk. Right. Mm. Oh, holy shit. Thank you, Zero. Thank you for the sub bomb, Zero. Thank you very much. Seriously, thank you. Right. Oh, hang on. There we go. Just making sure the mouse is off the screen. Okay. Oh, huge butterfly. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, holy moly. Never mind fishing. That butterfly's the size of a cat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? Right. Okay. Yeah, there's still some fish in this area. Let's cast out again. <clears throat> ah, dearie me. How's my day? Yeah, all good, atrocious. I woke up a bit later, I'm afraid. Uh, today is going to be pretty standard editing. I've got lots of stuff to do in Adobe After Effects. 
Uh, so I've got the audio recorded for a video essay, and now I just need to do the visuals. So it's all very simple, really. I just need to go through and animate a few scenes with a bunch of birds. It will make sense later. Hmm. Yeah, that's it, really. That's my plan today. Just, just crack on with that and then come back later for some Halo, I think, later this evening. Go ahead, Soviet Marrow. Apologies if I missed the question. Where's the bait? Hang on. Where are you? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. It's Messi in the chat. Hi, Messi. Hello, Messi. Hope you're well. Yeah. I don't seem to be interested in this one, are can't even find it. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is over there. Eh, never mind. Right, we'll switch tactics then. Hang on. Uh, let's go and pull, pull that out of the water. Go back to the spinner. Okay, get rid of the float. Get rid of the bait. And just go with floats, hooks, baits. Uh... Uh, where am I going? Lures, that's what, that's what I wanted. Oh, wow. Hard lures, soft lures, spinners. Wow, okay. I didn't even know about this other category. Ooh. Maybe I should... Uh, I shouldn't be naughty, should I? Is there a cheap version? What's this, sorry? Best for trout. Size 8 hook. Oh. What is this then? Soft lure. Okay, maybe, maybe just the one. Let's not go crazy. Okay. So let's equip this lure. Okay. <clears throat> size four. Yeah, we'll have a size four hook. Let's try that then. Right. And then we'll shimmy along the lake. Over. We'll go over here, opposite side. Okay. I'll go there. All right, I'm getting tangled up in my chair again. Put my hunter vision on. Oh wow! Whoa! -ho -ho. Okay then. Right. Whoa! There's a lot of big fish here, folks. Let's try this. It's a little pink lure. Whoa! Okay, they're all over here. <laughs> That's where all the fish are. They buggered off from my area. So let it sink down. Right, let's do it. Let's do a nice slow reel. Straight slow. Looks like a little fish is just flopping in the water, you see? So just in the middle of the water layer. Any takers? That's a biggie, look at that one. They're not going for it, are they? Come on, you know you want to. Oh, look at you. You're a nice one. Oh, never mind. That didn't work. Maybe we'll try a stop and go method. Try that instead. So put on my hunter vision. Oh, look at these. Some nice looking fish, and they're quite they're quite high up in the water layer as well, aren't they? All right. Oh no, I need to let it sink to the bottom, don't I? Wait, what about that twitch thing? How does it work? It said move the rod tip. I see, just a little bit. I don't know how much mo motion is required. Is 
it's even translating to it? It is. I need to look at a tutorial or something. Hmm. I just do it fast. So straight fast. Nothing. Try again. <sighs> Maybe I got the wrong type of lure. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I need to reel a bit as well. <clears throat> Hi there, Marrow. Uh, you heard that I like to fish a lot in real life. Indeed. What's the fish variety that uh, for me? So sorry, for me out wherever I live. Uh, so coarse fishing. Well, you can do um, trout fishing as well. So what I'm doing now, but I prefer to go for coarse fishing. So. Fish that are undesirable to eat, but fight well on the line. Things like carp. Carp fishing in particular. So big, heavy set fish with lots of bones that grow massive over the course of their lifespan over 20 years. As such, they provide an excellent sport on the line. Carp fishing involves lots of sitting next to lakes in small cozy tents called bivvies. Let it sink. And resting your rods on rod pot. There we go, we got something. Up the resistance on the line. Doesn't feel very big. Basically it's a it's a it's a patient man's hobby. Right. Now oh, god damn it. Oh. Tell me that tiny little fish isn't gonna break this line. Oh, come on! Fuck's sake. Okay, I'll sell it for $7. Whoop! Dinky little 17 centimeter fish. Okay, maybe this soft lure isn't working, bro. Let's keep on. Try it again. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the fish are all moving around, doing their thing. Right. Just straight. Just keep it straight and steady as if a fish is swimming in a straight line. Let it sink. Switch it a little bit. Oh, hello, we got something. There we go. Uh, it doesn't feel small. Oh, it might be alright. Might be a trout on this line. Hello. So it's pulling away. I'm just letting it pull on the line. Letting the natural resist. Well, the setting on the reel. The resistance setting on the reel. As it tries to pull out more line, it will struggle and therefore tire itself. So, oh, okay. This feels quite nice, actually. Hold the phone. Oh, okay, release. Let it pull out some line. Let it have some line. Let it tire itself out. Then when it turns towards me, I reel it in. Whoa. Okay. Let it have as much line as it wants to knacker itself. There we go. There we go. What are you? Oh, no, you're small, aren't you? What the fuck? How are you pulling so hard on the line? A brooked trout. Okay. Sell for $6. It's only 29 centimeters. God damn it, you were supposed to be like a huge fish so I could impress the stream. Fuck's sake. Whoop! Sell for six dollars. God damn it. I want to catch a whale, I want to impress everybody. They'll be like, ah, oh, what an amazing angler that Soviet is. Ugh. And maybe there are some hot ladies watching that are into that. I can dream. Right. Okay. Let it sink. Still need to learn how to do this twitching luring method. Don't know what it means, but it says move the rod tip.
Okay, here we go. Let it sink. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, you're a big one. Nah, I think this lure isn't appropriate. I don't seem to be going for it. Okay. Right, let's try a different one. Okay, so switch over from that to hang on a minute i'll tell you what let's just drop let's up the hook size uh yes yeah, so put it to a size eight hook just in case maybe maybe the hook is just too big for the fish in this area so same thing but a smaller hook a size eight okay let's try that ah <sighs> i'm british and i'm not a chav so you're good at getting Head groin, head groin with attractive brute head groin. What on earth? <laughs> uh, darling, would would have head groin this evening? Oh, hang on. Consider using a bigger hook. Okay. Head groin. Uh, wait. Oh, that's why. Uh, yeah, let's get rid Okay, go back to the damn spinner. So go back to lures. Uh, yep. Equip it with a size 4. Yep, size 4 is good. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, hello. Two other anglers in this area. Okay, hunter vision. What's here? Uh, oh, that's a biggie. Look at that one over there. Whoa. Fuck it's sake. I'm a bit too far, frankly. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, look at you. You're a beauty. Whoa, holy moly. Look at the fucking size of that thing. I'm just going to make it dark from cover to cover at the lake bed. Stop and go. So, the spinner is replicating a small silver fish that is moving between patches of cover on the lake bed. Come on. Let it sink to the bottom. Damn, I'm pulling it too high into the water layer. Okay. We'll just do a straight from here. Straight slow. Damn it, that was a good that was a good attempt I felt on my part. Didn't get any results. Okay. Oh, try again. Why not do electric fishing? Because you'll get thrown off the fishery. <laughs> and uh, if you kill everything on the lake, well you won't be able to go back to that lake again to catch the same fish. Which you could do over the course of like 20 years. There we go.
Let it sink again. Come on, fishies. Maybe they're not this far down in the water layer. Maybe they're further up. Maybe I should go with the float instead. Wait, you can type? Weird. Okay. We can try that. Let's switch over to the float. So get rid of that. Go to hook. Yeah. Quip. Wait, what? Oh. Get a float first. There we go. Can get a slightly meatier float. Oops. Okay. Almost got my next level. We should try some ice fishing then. See what happens. Okay. Fly. Equip. Okay. There we go. Let's try that, and then how far? Let's drop it down to about... Yeah, let's drop it relatively shallow. Only about 56 centimeters beneath the float. Okay. Bring up my hunter vision. Yeah, leave it right there. See what happens. Okay. Hello? Yeah, so it's a... Oh, no. Ooh, okay. It got suspicious. It saw something it didn't like. Maybe it saw the hook. Mm. Alright, leave it there for a second. See what happens. So yes, fish cruising on the surface will be looking for animal... Uh, looking for insects that fall in and drown, which happens all the time. So that's why they're staying up near the surface of the water, even though they're at risk from predation. Okay. The float seems to be the way to go on this lake. Oh, hello, for a pumpkin sea. <laughs> there we go. Da, 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 da. It's a dinky little pumpkin seed. I still don't know anything about this fish, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. We don't have those here. Pull it in, it's tiny. <clears throat> hmm. Cool. Only three dollars. Little pumpkin seed. What? Okay, what are these guys getting? Oh, brook trout. Cutthroat trout. Yeah, they're getting trout next to me. <clears throat> oh, there's another guy as well. There's quite a few people on this lake now. Ooh. Okay. Most of the fish appear to have gone that way. Let me follow them. Let's move down here. Okay. They move up to the lake. So whereabouts were they? This car's just over there. Uh, maybe it was a perspective thing. Pop them over here. Oh, I see. I've just gone too far. Also, I've lost the music, haven't I? <clears throat> right. Sorry, I'll pop it back momentarily. Is bass fishing uh, fishing common in England? I don't know, I'm afraid. Sorry, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, oh, good luck, Shimshun. Uh, advice on a D&D &D character? Yeah, try to keep it simple. Don't make... Don't be that guy. <laughs> uh... You've all seen that guy, I'm sure, in many different games that you play, but D&D especially. Don't be that guy who's got some secret magical, like, super powerful 
or you know tries to sell some mysterious oh you know he's got like a gimmick oh he's actually part dragon oh he's got a mysterious backstory or, or don't be like thinking that you're deadpool or something just play it relatively in universe uh like you're a farmer you're an adventurer whatever Like, oh, you're actually a secret undead lord that's pretending to be a lich or whatever. What's your phylactery? Oh, an abstract concept. Just fucking... Dude, just... It just Whatever. Just play as like a fucking elf or whatever. Yeah, what was that? Wasn't that like a meme for a while? Like, you know, your lich phylactery is... Oh, it's... It's... The, it's just something stupid. Something like, ah, I can never be destroyed because it's the moon. Don't try to have, like, some fancy gimmick. Just keep it simple. Hey, hang on. <clears throat> okay, ease up on the resistance on the line. Sorry, I'll get some music back in a minute. It's a bit quiet. Okay, it seems to be working out over here. There we go. It's tired. The fish is tired out. Hello. Nice, another brook trout. Only six dollars, tiny. God damn it, twenty-six centimeters. Whoop! Fuck's sake! I need to get a hook that I can double stack two bits of uh, fly on there to resist the little fish. Okay. Oh, Digby's in the chat. Hi, Digby. Hello, sir. Hope you're well. Whoopsie. Bear with me a second. Let me, let me just get some music back. Ah, just go here. Um, thank you, the one Gore X, Kurama, Bacon Bomb, Smug Rainbow, Zero. Thank you for your sub bomb, Zero. Deadly Sin and Falu and Alestro. Thank you, all of you. You're very, very kind. Thank you for your, for, thank you for your generosity. Okay, let's go with Derelict Album. I like that one. Hang on. Cool. There we go. And then maximize the game again. Uh, have a quick drink while I'm here. <clears throat> okay. Hang on, I'm tangled in my chair again. There we go. Whoop, Fuck. No chair, don't destroy the cable. There we go. Ah, lovely. Right, can you guys see everything? There we go. Cool. Ah, so, where are the fish? Where are the fish? Hunter Vision tells me that the fish... Eh, it's a mixture right now. We'll go right there. Okay. Take care, Atrocious. Sleep well, sir. Sleep well indeed. Sweet dreams. Hmm. Ah. That can be funny sometimes. So, Shamrock, you played an ancient king, frozen for centuries. He's just an average guy in the game. He just needs to adjust. Yeah, but the, the trouble is, Shamrock, is that everyone wants to do that. And then it's not gimmicky. It's not. It's not. You know, if every single party has some secret dragon kind, or long lost king, or lich, who's funny, like he's Deadpool funny, it it just gets kind of uh, just just play it straight. The the funnier it, the funny things are funnier when everyone's playing it straight rather than trying to be goofy. And same with moments that are impactful. If if people are just being silly all the time, then all of the drama is sucked out of it. Oh, it's a little shitty fish, isn't it? Bull trout. Eh, oh, thirty-two dollars. Not too bad. Okay, thirty-seven centimeters. Bull trout. Two kilogram. That's two kilogram. It's tiny. Oh, sell that. How are we doing? $170. God damn it. 400 is the target. So I've got loads to go. Maybe I can unlock the ice fishing soon. That'd be nice. Pull it a bit closer. There we go. And let the float sit in the water there. Oh, whoa. Look at you. You're a beauty. Holy shit. Brook trout, maybe? 
You are a beauty. Holy moly. Okay. <sighs> Second part of the question, do I have any good fishing stories to tell you? Um, not really, because I've only just started. The only thing I can note is the same story that I, I've, I've, I've told for years, which is when I was a teenager, I went to centre parks, and um, I had very basic equipment, like a telescopic rod, just put like a, a, a fishing rod that was bought for Christmas. One of those packs, you know? Oh, hello. No, go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. You're tiny. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Stop following me. I want a big fish. You're shit. Fuck off. Fine. You want to get caught? Oh. Goddamn nuisance fish. Right, I'm throwing you over that hedge. You're gonna be put food for some fucking random squirrel or something. You did this to yourself. Stupid, stupid little motherfucker. Right, there you are. A fucking 20 centimeter fucking. Right, enjoy flying. Congrats, well done. No bait, there we go. Um. What have we got? I run out of flies. Ah, bread. Bream carp. Nah, not gonna get much with that here. Ah. How much are the flies? Oh, they're only two dollars. Two dollars per fly? Stop. <laughs> just, they grow from maggots. You just leave like a, a piece of meat out, and you get free maggots, and therefore free flies. Jesus. Uh terrible um all right how much are the hooks hang on if can i double stack a hook see max bait amount two 53 dollars though uh, okay buy one did i buy one size four Size six. Go with a size six. Size six. Equip. Then we're going to double stack the bait. So to hopefully reduce the chances of nuisance fish. Okay. I'll drop down the hook length a little bit. Right, so now we should have two. There we go. So you see? <laughs> Game, is that your idea of double stacking bait? That's terrible. Hang on, let me have a look at this. Come on, what is this? So, the, the game's idea of double stacking is to put them on the end of the hook and still not hide the hook itself. The whole idea is that you hide the hook inside the bait so that they, they can't see it, and then you pull it sideways. Like, I've had sweet corn stacked all the way up, you know, fucking three, four bits of sweet corn, completely concealing the hook. <laughs> oh, dear me. All right, let's see what happens now. So I'm hoping that by double stacking that, the little shitty fish will won't be able to, they won't be able to eat it. They'll be able to nibble, but they won't be able to get it in their mouth. Hi there, Siffle. Welcome indeed, Siffle. Berry buying maggots is one of the highlights of fishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little pots of maggots. They're clean though. They're not like filthy, stinky. Back. Yeah, they're just swimming in like breadcrumbs, aren't they? Da, 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 da. Come on, fish. Hmm. Use my hunter vision. Okay, where's the big fish? Trouble is, this might limit my overall catching options if the little fish won't nibble. Take care, Trace, and have a good one. I'm using bait for tiny fishes, not big fishes. Uh, no, the big fish should be going for flies. 
As far as I know. Hmm. Hi there, Term X. Welcome indeed, Term. What do I use the experience in the game for? You've got talent points, such as the Hunter Vision here. You're nice. Hi. Brook Trout. Cruising for anything that falls into the water. So the edge of that rock would probably be a great place to put your bait. So the fish would cruise around and then naturally patrol. Looking for things that might fall in. Uh, maybe I'm not getting much luck, am I? Hook size doesn't match. Consider using a smaller hook. Oh, really? Have I just gone too big here? Oh, okay. Consider using a smaller hook. Okay. I guess that double stack hook isn't a good idea. So size, size eight, equip. Do we have any other baits that they might be interested in? Maggots, rainbow trout. Okay, we'll try a few of these. Three dollars per maggot. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Red worm. Try one of those as well. Try the maggot first. Ah, hmm. uh, now we go here. Yeah, this would be a great place. The fish would just move naturally, patrolling around this area. Okay. No, no. Uh, so, so uh, the smaller the number, the bigger the hook. I had no idea why. Hi there, Thara. Go to bed. Uh, I think so, Triple. But at least you don't need to replace those. An artificial lure. I'm not having much luck, am I? i try a different area of the lake. Yeah, there's not much over here, is there? Let's go further down, where those guys are. Let's go here. Uh, up the time, we'll pop it to like almost midday and go where am I? I'm over here aren't I? Let's go over there cool oh, hang on, teleport there and go hunter vision uh, oh yes please, hello okay, right in the middle there Uh, well, I make special fishing gear for my own. <laughs> yeah. uh, you say, actually, sorry, you say that. Who said that? A uh, lazy tyke. Uh, it does surprise. Um, so w when you look at fishing gear, th there's like little things for everything now. There's like th every tiniest ridiculous sounding gadget. There's um, there's there's like a there's a, there's a market for it. And it often has the name of some famous, like, finger, finger quotes, famous angler. Oh, hello. There we go. Something's nibbling. Strike. There we go. So it's really weird for me as a bit of an outsider just entering the hobby. Because it's like, buy these hooks. That's ah, tiny. 
brook trout, 26 centimetres. What? Sold. Um, so it's really weird as an outsider for me coming on in because it's like, buy these hooks as used by James William or something. I'm like, I have no idea who that is. And then you look at him up and he's like, I don't know. That's just a random name I pull from the top of my head. But it just feels really strange. It's like, as used by Carl Ferdinand. You're like, okay. I was expecting, like, I don't know, as used by Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't, hang on. Is, is it The Rock who really likes fishing? Or is it Vin Diesel? I think it might, sorry, I think it might be Vin Diesel, actually. Is that true? Yeah, get like them. Get like fucking ah floats as used by Vin Diesel. Oh hello, you're a biggie. Wow, bloodworm. Oh no, piss off! You're a tiny one. I want the big one, not you, buddy. Pumpkin seed. Piss off. Piss off. <laughs> Fuck you then. Fine. Right. He's going that way. Da 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 da. Rubbish. Shitty fish. No experience whatsoever. Okay. Ah. Uh, Doble corn fly. Yeah. Fly is fine. Maybe we should go back to using the spinner. I'll have to mix things up a bit. Hmm. For some reason, people really hate Vin Diesel. Do they? Yeah, look. Big fish. Quite deep down. Come on. You know you want this. Look at that. Cutthroat trout. Biggie. 54 centimetre, I reckon. Oh. Yeah, let's go back to the spinner. It's getting little shitty ones, aren't I? Can I just cut the main line? No. Okay. You like Vin, says Jay. He just makes really crappy movies now. Yeah? Yeah. I like that um what was it i like the there was a, so you know the the riddick franchise it went weird because they started having like fishmongers but death or something like the death mongers something it was stupid and um but no they did the, there was a recent film and for the first like say half of the film they got it they they, they got it they understood it. It, it was it was all about riddick and he's a criminal and he's alone on this planet and he was surviving and then some people turn up and they're mercenaries and they're hunting him and then for the, the third act it went weird the film started getting into odd like oh no but he's really a good guy territory yeah i don't, I don't know they, they felt like they had it. necromongers sorry what, what did i say something mongers it was stupid um it feels like they're, they're, they're flirting with the correct answer, but they, they struggle to get it. Which is that it's not about hero stuff. It's about, ah, nebulous, you know, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Don't know. Sorry, what am I doing? I've lost the plot. I need to... Let's go back to a spinner. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Lures, spoon. Here we go. Spinners. Do a true spinner. There we go. Equip. Size 4. There we go. Right. So, just do a regular spinner. See what we can get. That's too too short. Let's go further. Ah. Ah. Right. Yeah, they turned Riddick from an anti-hero into a hero hero. Yeah. It's weird. But also, there was, uh, there was this... This charm in not seeing or not knowing the mystery, as in a guy dies, Riddick just disappears. You know, that that's great. Don't don't show me Riddick all the time. Less Riddick, the better. Supporting character, not a main. 
Just going to do a straight. Don't go too high in the water layer because the bigger fish seem to be quite, quite close to the base of the lake over here. Oh, there we go. Something grabbed it. Hey, whoa, whoa, okay. Up the resistance on the line. There we go, there we go, there we go. What are you? Hello. Oh, don't be another pumpkin seed. God damn it! I'm learning to hate this fish. This is like a bream, isn't it? Like a shitty fish that no one wants. Three dollars. Uh, I want the big fish. Ooh, hello. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> so many fish. Okay. Oh, hello. Can I twitch? Don't know if that's doing anything. Okay, here we go. So a stop and start method. Oh, what happened there? I think my vibe just malfunctioned. Did I crash? No, no, you still got it. So I'm just darting a lot, well, moving the spinner along the lake bed. Oh, yay, there we go. Something grabbed it. Please be a biggie. Nah, it doesn't feel biggie. Feels smally. Yeah, it's tiny. Yeah, it's another pumpkin seed, isn't it? Uh, yeah, god damn it. New record though, it's the biggest pumpkin seed I've ever got. 34 centimeters. Yeah. Right. What? Only seven dollars though. God damn it. So how are we supposed to get these trout? Maybe I should go higher up in the water layer. Fuck. Hmm. Should I be doing it faster or slower? Eh, yeah, not working. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. There we go, that's better. Hmm, should probably change strategy. Yeah, I was getting big trout before. I don't know what I'm doing wrong this time. Maybe go middle of the water layer slow. That's the one I was doing straight slow. I was doing this before, mainly because I didn't know any other one. Straight slow. Hello, what are you? Hey, there we go. That's a trout. Straight slow. That's a bull trout. Not small either. Nice, 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 nice. Keep the resistance on the line. 10 foot carbon fiber rod. Not with a cork handle. I like cork handles, they smell nice. <laughs> it's like getting a getting a new game and smelling the manual. When you've got a <laughs> just, you unwrap your new match rod and you just smell the cork handle. Maybe I'm just weird. Ooh. Hello, there we go. That's better. Right, 48 centimeter. Bull trout. $34. Lovely. What? Sold. Alright. Sweet. Hunt division once more. Okay, so maybe we'll go straight slow. Middle of the water layer. Alright, let's do that then. What? Yes, I do these noises when I go fishing in real life. What? <laughs> oh dear. Smelling the manual. What the heck? Come on, we've all done it. Fuck you. Back in the day, you get that new game, you get out of the box, sniff that manual. Yeah. Smells like nostalgia. Straight slow.
Come on. No, I think we're too shallow. Let's try again. Let's go that way. Right. Hmm. Back when the games came out in shoebox size. Th yes, exactly. You, you, you remember, Melancholic. How big those game fucking... Like, when you go into a game shop and you'd have huge, like, the size of encyclopedias were those game packages full of manuals and, like, fancy graphic, uh, fancy printed maps or whatever. I've still got a lot of those, sort of flat packed in a, in a, in a, a oh, there we go, under the bed, in a box under the bed. Oh, hello. Some resistance on that. It's trying to pull against it. Whoa. He's up. He's up. Probably a trout. Yeah, this seems to be the way. So middle of the water layer, spinner, slow, slow lure method. There we go. Lovely. 57 centimeter, uh, two and a half kilogram. Nice. $39. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. There we go. Now we're getting some... Oh, leveled up. Hey! Hey! <laughs> right. Okay, so let's get an auger then. So use an auger. Unlock. Make holes for ice fishing. Sweet. Let's give that a go then. So let's switch maps. So if we leave this one, we can always come back. Right. Let's have a go with this. So... The same lake in the winter. So at nearly 11,500 feet, the Betty Lake is an excellent high mountain lake in the Indian Peak Wilderness. It is surrounded by skyscraper mountains iconic to the Rocky Mountains. Fishermen will find a, a variety of fish here, mainly trout. Whether you're fly fishing or not, your chances of getting a bite here are good. So grab your favorite fly fishing rod and reel and head out to the Betty Lake. Yeah, maybe I should look into getting a fly fishing thing. Oh, fuck. $100 for the license? Damn it. Fucking damn it. Shit. Okay, let's do it. Ah, I want to save up for the other one, though. Oh, fuck it, let's just do it. Right, here we go. Dude needs to blow his nose. Yeah, I do feel congested. Yeah. Oh, wow. To start ice fishing, you have to drill an air hole first. Press the proper button and select the desired location. Then grab the auger and drill the air hole by rotating it with the controller. You can also drill by holding a button. This can be turned on in the VR options. Buy an auger. Ah! Oh. I didn't buy an auger. How much? Tell, tell me it's not like a million. How much is an auger? A hundred and eight. <laughs> God. Oh! I see fishing is just as extortionate as it is in real life, eh? Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, shit fuck. Shit fuck ass. Shit fuck ass. Um, Alright. Back to the other lake. I leave in shame. I waited all I waited all summer, waited all the way through autumn. And it was winter. I got really excited. I, dro I drove all the way up to the Rocky Mountains in uh, uh, somewhere in America, and then I uh, realized that oh, I, di I didn't actually buy an auger. Oops. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Huh. Alright, back on the same map. Let's go over here. Can't seem to move. What's going on? There we go. Right. Uh, Hunter Vision. Oh, wow. A whole bunch over here. Uh, why can't I move? It's weird. It won't let me. There we go. Right, so I've got the spinner here. 
rods. Wow, these fly fishing rods are expensive. I've got a spinner one right now. Flies. How does this work then? So do you need a, a fly fishing reel for this? Level three. Whoa, there's loads of these, holy shit. Cool. Hang on, let me just have a quick read. Fly fishing. Fly fishing is a method in which special lures called flies are used. They are used to, uh, to attract fish and usually imitate insects. Special reels, rods and thick lines with leaders are also used in this method. So I presume I can't just get a fly lure and just stick it onto the feeder, spinner even. Hmm. Uh, song name? Uh, I can't tell you, but it's it's uh, the Derelict album by Carbon Based Lifeforms. Eh. Just go with the spinner. To move back to the middle of the room. There we go. Get away from the barrier. All right, let's start going. So slow and steady. Straight slow. As you see, the spinner there makes it look like a prey, like a silverfish trying to flee. And hopefully, a big fish will be like, oh. There we go, something grabbed it. Oh, it's another bloody pumpkin seed. God damn it, I hate these fucking fish. Fucking nuisance. Come on. There we go, just tie yourself out on the resistance. Don't you sever the line on that rock. There we go. Ah! Okay, five dollars. What a rubbish fish. What? Uh, I could use an artificial fly in real life with a spinner rod and a water ball weight. You don't know the English expression. Ah! Uh, how much is an actual fly reel then? So reels, casting fly, 188. Jesus. Fly reels have to be used with a fly rod. Okay, so I need to buy the rod first. Can I just try a fly? Hang on. Lures. Flies. It's the cheapest one. Let's not go. Let's not go crazy. Okay. Does this go for the trout? Rainbow. Rainbow runner. Not trout. Hang on. Here, rainbow trout. Fifty dollars. Okay. So I, I'm going to assume this isn't going to work. Oh, okay. Flies have to be used with a fly line. Okay. And then if I go to line, fly sinking monofill. Okay. So it looks like I've got to buy the whole shebang. So I've got to save up for the whole thing. All right. Yeah. Damn, bit of a grind. <laughs> okay. I sound a bit under the weather. Indeed, I feel a bit bunged up. It also doesn't help that the VR set is sort of squashing down on the bridge of my nose. Right. Let it sink for a bit. <laughs> Well, the pumpkin, the bear. Yeah, fuck that fish. I'm not here to catch pumpkin seed. There we go. Straight slow. Fuck you, fuck off. Come 
on, give me a big fish. Give me a big fish. Fuck off. Nah. Uh, try a different area. Hang on. Let's move further down. Can I just do it manually? Okay, there. For some reason it doesn't select, I don't know why. There we go. Oh wow. A couple of real biggies down there. Hold up. Where were they? A couple of real beauties. Hmm. Uh, not sure, but we'll cast out over here. Oops, that was rubbish. Try that again. Alright, it's better. Morty called a quarter pumpkin seed. Hmm. Oh wow, big fish. Big fish, there we go, lovely. Look at the size of those rainbow trout. Beautiful. What a gorgeous fish, look at that lateral line. Right, little stop and go method. Just gonna skim along the bottom of. There we go. Something grabbed it. Please don't be a pumpkin seed. God damn you! God damn you and your fucking stupid fishy face! Fucking. Ah. <sighs> Fuck off! You are now a bird. Off you go. Right. For those joining the stream, as you can probably tell, I'm not a fan of that fish. God damn it! 0 0.03 kilogram. That, that, what, those fish? They're really big ones. Maybe I just need a more expensive lure. Come on, look at that gorgeous thing. Come on, you know you want this. You know you want it. What's that tiny fish that's following in its wake? Come on. Oh, I said a trout. Yep, there we go. That'll do. It's a trout. Catch it from this angle. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Keep pulling it in. Just tire the thing out. Da, 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 Cool. There we go. It's knackered now. There we go. Easy to bring it in now. There we go. Whoopsie. What the fuck? What? I'm under. I'm underground. Weird. Oh. Damn it, I accidentally released it by trying to teleport back. Damn it, that was an expensive fish as well, a bull trout. 2.26. Oh well, at least I got the experience for it, but shit. Right. Okay, uh, could you bear with me just a minute, folks? I, I'm desperate for a wee wee. I'm just going to go and take off the headset and go to the toilet. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh. Um, also, uh, thank you, Dylan Plays and Jahidi, Kushulka, Tiamat. Uh, Lucio, actually Alex, Echo for Golf, Wintermute, and the One Gore and Karama and Bacon Bomb. Thank you all. You are very kind to me. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity, everybody. Back in just one moment. Hang on.
Bear with me, folks. Right. Hi there, folks. Sorry, just putting the headset back on. There we go. Trying not to strangle myself. Oh, lovely. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I nearly missed the chair entirely and fell on my ass. That would have been embarrassing. Right. Uh, hang on a minute. Then again, my, my entire career choice is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> right. Hang on. There we go. Oh. Right, go back to the monitor. Make sure the cursor is off the screen. Wait, where is it? I can't even see the cursor. I think it's off the screen. Let me know if it's not. Okay. Also, thank you, Commander Delta uh, and Wayward Tyrant and Cadmus and Anarchy. Thank you, all of you. You're very kind. Thank you for subbing. Right. Uh. So, for the people just joining the stream, I hope you're okay. Just doing a bit of, uh, yeah, doing a bit of fishing. Ugh. VR fishing, sorry. Um, the audio cable keeps trying to smack me in the mouth. Just try and tuck it behind. Uh, hang on. Ooh. Damn it, there's no comfortable way to do it. Right, so, if they're not falling for this spinner, is there one that they will fall for? Let's have a quick look then. Um, right, so lures. Hard lures, spinners. That's the one I've got. Spoons. There's a whole bunch of different ones. So $32, spoon, trout. Is there a better one that the trout will go for? What's this then? Oh, okay. So $46, level 3, so that's a level 2 spoon spinner. So obviously, size 2 as well. Okay. Is that too big a hook? Hmm. Rainbow trout, level 4. Should we try this one? It's not super expensive either. Let's try this one. So let, let me just replace. Okay, we'll put on a size 4 hook. So yeah, this is just a very simple spinner. So in the water, it's just going to spin. Oh, I see. It's a treble hook as well. Okay. Let's try this. Let's see if... Let's see if we can get those bigger ones to bite. Oh, wow. Okay, that is quite, quite meaty. Holy shit. Ooh. So, Hunter Vision again. Hmm. Right, there's a lot of big trout out there, holy shit. Yeah, you see the cursor? Do you? Did I leave the cursor on the screen? I can't see it. Okay. He was a QA analyst before he became a YouTube diva. Indeed, yes, I was a senior QA analyst. So, uh, quality assurance in software development. So, the guy who would be working with the other analysts, the other QA guys, to make the test cases that would ultimately test the piece of software, be it manual or automated, but more crucially, more important, uh, we were the people who were recording the, I suppose, the, the uh, well, the requirements and uh, checking the requirements of the client. So it wasn't, so we were, we were working for the quality of the product in the client's name. So all of their requirements needed to be measurable to make sure that what we're developing is exactly what they want, if that makes sense. OK. 
Okay. So let's see how this spinner does. Maybe a stop and go method on the ground isn't the best way. Let's just do a mid middle of the water straight. There we go, something grabbed it. Are you big? Uh no, you don't feel too big. Nah. If you're another pumpkin seed, I swear to fucking god I'm gonna throw you over that tree. What are you? Oh no, you're a trout. Oh, 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 oh. okay, hold up. Oh, oh. Okay, hold the phone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Okay, hold up. Ease up. Ease up on. The let, let it go. Let it go. Give, give it some. Let tire it out. Tire it out. Whoa. Okay, now it's fighting. Now it's fighting. Oh my god. Ease up. Ease up. It's swimming away now. There we go. Let it tire. Just let it tire. No, come back. You're a big fish. And I really want you. Please swim back this way. Up the resistance on the line even more. There we go. Right. Reel it in. Reel it in. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Ease, ease, ease. There we go. It's tired now. It's tired. There we go. So as it was swimming away, I was just giving it line. Rather than letting it snap the line, which it could easily if I just held firm. Okay. Oh, look at you, you beautiful motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Okay. Let it take some line. It's tired, though. Come on! Can I land it without a net? Whoa. Okay, hold up. Give it. Shit, the bed. Can I land this without a net? God, it's getting second wind. It really is. Come on, come on. Do I even have a net? No, I, I didn't buy a net. That's stupid on my part. Okay, well, yeah, if you're watching this, folks, yeah, buy a fishing net because you don't want it to put its weight on its mouth parts. Not for a fish this size. What am I supposed to do? Oh, shit. Holy moly. Yeah, just let it tire. It's not tired. How the fuck is it not tired? Yeah, this is why people love fishing, just the fight. I spent like 15 minutes fighting a carp and I still lost- YES! Yeah! Oh no! I have to use a landing net. Fishing net, press button. Okay, this is a tutorial. So in order to pull out a bigger fish, you will have to use a landing net. When a fish is tired and lays on the water surface, you must first bring it closer and make sure that nothing is in your way so the net can reach it. To do this, it's sometimes necessary to walk closer to the coast or boat edge. Okay. Fishing net, press button. Which button? Okay. Press any key. There we go. Oh, I've got a landing net. In order to pull out a bigger fish, you will have to use a landing net. Yep. So bring it under the fish with the controller or thumbstick and then grab the fish. The fishing net's handle color will indicate the proper position. Oh, sorry? The fishing net's handle... Make it fast enough so the fish can't escape. Did I get it? <laughs> oh my god! Holy crap! Holy crap, that is a fish! That is a... My god! So that is... <laughs> a 1.08 meter! Almost 10 kilograms! It's a 9.25 uh, kilogram! What a fucking beauty! Holy shit, everybody! This is twice the size of my personal best carp, so... Wow! Sell for 140... Okay, $140. Yeah! What a fish! Look at that! That's what I'm talking about. That's going in the trophy room. That's what I'm talking about! Holy fucking shit! That's a fish! That is a fish! Holy moly! I'm <laughs> going again. That worked. 
So that was a stop and get. No, it was a straight method, wasn't it? Mid water, straight method. Ah. Yes, so um, always make sure you have a landing net, everybody, whenever you go fishing. Uh, so the reason, the simple reason is that all the you, you don't want all of the fish's bulk on its mouth parts. It's just going to hurt it quite badly. Here we go. So you have a landing net. In addition, purchase a, a hammock. So a, a, a fishing, what are they called? Like a de-hooking mat. So all this is, it's just a, a waterproof hammock that you can lay the fish on when you're taking the hook out. So again, it doesn't have all of its weight anywhere where it can get hurt. It's just resting on a waterproof hammock. Oh, something's following. Yeah, come on. That's another nice one, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, hold up. Whoa, give it, give it some room. Give it some room. Hey, okay. There we go. There we go. Come on, I think we got a winner with this spinner. Yeah, come on then. Come on then. Come on then, you bastard. Yeah, come on. I think I need some tougher monofill. This line it gets yeah, it gets very close to its breaking strain. I think I need a tougher rod as well. Come on. There we go. Just tire yourself out. There we go, there we go. Up the resistance on the line. There we go. There we go. Come on. Just. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. There we go. Come nice and close. How do I get that net again? There we go. So fishing net, press the button. How does one do it? There we go. Lovely. Look at this. Brown trout, look at you! You're huge. So this is uh, 0.83, so 83 centimeters, and it's 8.40 kilogram. What a beautiful fish! Gorgeous. Yeah, nice. Right, sell this one. Ha! Oh my God! Holy crap! Holy crap, indeed. Okay. Yeah. Do you need a room with my fish? Uh, I do have a room with my fish. It's a trophy room. I'll show you in a minute. Holy moly. Okay, so what have I got now? $320. Sweet. Okay. Okay. So, look, another one. Another one. Another one. All right. Fucking. Let's go over there. Oh, it's raining as well. Excellent. So, rain will oxygenate the water and make the fish uh, even more fr uh, feeding frenzy -ness. And also, fish have evolved to learn that r rain can wash insects into the water, so they will, uh, they can enter, they're even more likely to enter a feeding frenzy. Here we go. Straight lure, middle of the water layer. There we go. Let it sink. Oh, pardon me. Oh, there we go. It's not as big as the others, but it's still a still a trout. There we go. We got a winner, everybody. We found a winning formula. So a spoon spinner, middle of the water layer, a size four hook. There we go. Not as big as the others, but still very nice. A cutthroat trout. Fifty-five centimeters, just under a kilogram. Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Yeah, I'm on a roll. Work. Sorry. What was that? I can't hear you. I'm fishing. Whoop. Ah. Ha. <laughs> I'm having fun. Right. Here we go again. Straight lure. Come on, come get this. Look at this. Tasty, tasty, tasty. You know you want it. Come on, you trouty bastards. Ooh, that trout saw it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now you want it? Yes, it's gone for it. There we go. Whee! There we go. Keep 
Pulling it in. This one could be quite easy because it's so close. Hey, there we go. Lovely. Brown trout, 72 centimeters, 4.63 kilogram. Lovely. What a beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, just to stress, never, ever do this. Never hold the, the fish like this. Um, it's weight. It's too much. This is too much mass. So 4.63 4 kilograms for those mouth parts. Uh, that would be yeah very cruel. So never do that ever in real life. Um, always use a landing net. Always use a... Well, if the fish is big, use a, 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 a de-hooking mat. Okay? And also don't throw it over the tree like that. That would be very mean. Well, for the fish, try to not be a cruel dickhead. Ah. Because obviously you want to put the fish, the fish back and minimize the uh, the heat. Well, you want to you want its wound to heal quickly and it for it to bounce back and just resume feeding immediately. Right. On a similar note, never use barb hooks, everybody. Please use a barbless hook. So a barb hook has the little spikes coming off the side of it, or you know, off the side of the tip, which means it's harder to remove. Uh, if your line is on is under tension, so if you're reeling it in, it won't slip off the hook. It's fine. Don't, you know. So long as you've got the line under tension, it'll be fine. Always use a barbless hook. Because then you can return the fish to the water and that, that injury will heal up very quick. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, we are really on a roll, aren't we? Hey. Yeah, the rain plus the spinner. There we go. There we go, there we go. Just tire it out a little. Come on, there we go. Doesn't feel too huge. That's what she said. Come away from the reeds. Yeah, it's not that massive. Cutthroat? No, it's another brown trout. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey! Brown trout, 67 centimeters, 3.56 kilogram. Another beautiful trout. Lovely. Sold. Nice. We, we've got enough for the lake. We've got enough for that other venue. Let's go. Let's have a look. Right. So I'm, I want to see how it is. So let's leave this venue now. Okay. So here we go. So that's the Betty Lake in America, the Rocky Mountains. So Pol Powell Lake. Sorry, that's not where I want to go. This is where I want to go. So. This is the fishing that I do, everybody. This is it, carp fishing. So St. Zenos Lake, it's a complex system of artificial water, uh, water res reservoirs located in Europe. They are appreciated by anglers from around the world who are looking for a challenge and want to spend their free time within nature. Few have the rare chance to catch our famous 45 kilogram carp. The complex consists of four diverse reservoirs which are stocked with various species of fish. You will find such fish as pike, mirror carp, crucian carp, grass carp, chub, and much, much more. Okay, $400 for the license. Here we go. Right. Hmm. Crash. <laughs> There's a dog. She's sleeping on the sofa. She's good. Da, da, da. Hmm. Here we are. Yeah. Okay, then. So let's have a look at the venue. Uh, so, yes, you often arrive at places like this, you'll find a sign with the venue's rules saying, please use this, please don't use that. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this looks very normal. Let's go to... Ah! So often the lakes are stocked with different things and you're, str you're told, do not move fish from lake to lake. 
that's a that's a bit um, a thing that many venues get very very fussy about okay why is it so dark I guess we're in the shade but all the same hang on can I up the yeah there we go <laughs> right yeah this is the exact sort of thing that I do so yeah I come to lakes like this and I just sit yeah and relax in nature you got these pegs so pretty much every venue will have pegs so they, they could be a wooden jetty or it could just be a, a cleared area and you're asked to please respect the pegs don't fish between the pegs uh, otherwise you'll be fishing in each, in each other's swims effectively right hunt division oh yeah bunch of small fish in this area anything big hang on What about over here? Oh, is it? You can can you fish in the canal over here? Or is this just the edge of the map? Report bug. <laughs> no, just a few shitty little fish. Come on, where are the biggies? Show me where the big fuckers are. Oops, didn't mean to cast that. Oh, okay. Got some fish out there. Hang on. Okay. Come on. Ah, it's a perch. A little predatory fish. You can tell by the spines on the back. Oh. Hang on. Mm, okay. I see a big one over there. Cool. Let me just cast into the lake with a spinner. This won't do anything. Just have a look around. Okay, so fairly deep. Hmm. So, yeah, as mentioned, the big fish will go to the deep parts of the lake. During the summer, the various different layers of the lake are going to stratify. So they're going to remain pretty static and the, the visibility will be great. But during the autumn and the spring... The sudden change in temperature will cause the whole ba the whole lake to churn. The whole thing will, will sort of shift, like, head over us. So all of the dirt will get stirred up. What's that? Sorry, that's a... That looks like a mirror carp, but you can tell by the scales. No? Crucian carp. Okay. What's that, then? Oh, hello. Don't know what you are. Just having a look around. Can't tell from under under what they are. Oh, that's a bream. So a very very thin, uh, er, uh, yeah, sleek fish. They don't put up much of a fight when you catch them. They're a bit of a a nuisance fish. They're also oh, that's a carp, isn't it? That's a young carp, very young, very young indeed. Probably only a year or so. Ah, okay, right. Let's go here. So let's bring up my. So this is my feeder rod. Okay. So let's get a hook. Let's get up my method feeder. Okay. So here's my method feeder. I've got like three of these. So as mentioned pretty much on every stream, the whole idea behind a method feeder is that it's a it's basically a little plastic rib cage, I suppose, that you compress a ch a big blob of bait onto, like a bread or you can get like specialized bait mixes now. And you hide the hook inside it. Uh, sorry, did I want to do that hook? So let's go with a size 4 hook. Yeah, and then for the bait We're going to get a bit of bread onto the hook and for the feeder bait, we're gonna get some Strawberry yeah, some strawberry ground bait mix. Wait, does this work? Mirror carp bream Okay and got the bells, and we don't have the rod pod. Why? Equip the rod pod, or at least the bank stick. It's not a rod pod. Okay, I'm missing a reel. What the fuck? Oh no, I'm missing the line, of course. Hang on. Take the line off my spinner set. Fucking. No? 
Oh, can't be checked. Oops. There we go. Equip that. Then I'll show you. Nope. <laughs> Didn't actually equip the thing. There we go. So, yes. So, uh, this isn't a very good representation of how it should be. So, if you just pretend that that is a blob of compressed ground bait, uh, sort of squashed onto that plastic cage, um, and then the bait is actually hidden inside it. So, the whole thing is just just a single blob, and the fish will be feeding on that blob, uh, not aware that um, not aware that there's a hook in there until it's far too late. Uh, have I made my own boilies? I have. I have some in the freezer. But I'm going to be honest, I don't have the confidence to really try them. I need to give them a go. I just pop them in the freezer and I've yet to do anything with them. Okay, there we go. So now... Wait, where's my... No, oh, hang on. Fuck. I can't get the... Uh... Oh, can I not do the bank stick on the on the jetty? Probably not. I mean, what are you going to hammer it into? Did I equip it? Yeah. Can't be used? Why? Oh, placement ground, I see. Why can't I use it? What have I done wrong? How have I fucked up? Current set. Maybe... It's not level enough? Tripod needs. Tripod needed? No, no, it's just a bank stick. Equip. Rod pod, there we go. Now I can use it. Okay, rod pod. Yeah. Right, so the idea is. There we go. And. Oh. Fuck's sake. There we go. Ah. There we go. So yeah, you'd have your rod pod set up like that. Typically you'd have some nice um, sort of vibration sensitive electronic indicators instead of bells. But yeah, the fisher would come and in investigate your bait and potentially get hooked. And you'd have multiple rods doing that across the lake. Hmm. Okay. We are doing method feeder here like it's shown in the game. The hook is under the feeder since the bait on the feeder gets soggy and starts to fall off. Ah, uh, yeah. But, I, I mean, I can show you my feeder mold, if you like. It's got, like, a little alcove where you're supposed to put the hook in order for it to be hidden inside the, the whole method feeder. I mean, the whole idea is that the whole package sits in the same area. Oh, there we go. There we go. Something. There we go. Something just lifted the method feeder. There we go. So the hook was picked up, and there was a bolt effect. So what happened was the it realized that there was a hook in its mouth, and it panicked, and it tried to swim away. Is it a bream? I swear to God, bream. Oh, hang on. Get to the edge of the lake. Oh, it's a roach. Ah, excellent. Okay, so as I mentioned, so uh, uh, oh, it's quite a respectable roach actually. So that's um, so 33 centimeter roach. So typically the nuisance fish of of course fishing. Some people really appreciate them. Very pretty fish, mine. So nice silver scales, uh, nice red fins. Yeah, this is a fairly respectable roach. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. No, uh, no more bait in the feeder. Right, um, if I'm being honest, folks, I am out of time. What is the time? I've got lots of work to do today. Oopsie, didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Eh. Cool. Um, well, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. Hang on, sorry, have I fucked up? No, you can still see everything. You're fine. Sorry, I thought for a minute I might have fucked up the... Uh, fucked up the stream. Can I put the rod pod down here, even though it makes no sense? What does it say? Oh, see, I can't be placed here. 
Gosh. Up there. There we go. So, do I need some bait? Uh, yeah, there's no feeder bait. There we go. Equip. Right. Uh. Cool. <laughs> ha! Nice. Hemp bait. I've not tried hemp bait. It's recommended, though. Hmm. Okay. This is soothing, says Juan Rico. Yeah, I like it. See the fish jumping out the water? Resetting their swim bladders so they can swim deeper. Also, sometimes if they ingest something sharp, they can, you know, a little little piece of a snail or something, they can reset, they can knock it out their system by jumping out the water. So fish are very used to having to deal with sharp objects in the water. Hooks are no... Hooks are nothing. Mm. Okay. Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you never thought you'd finish work just to watch fishing. Not mad, to be honest, Ellis. Hello? There we go. Something lifted the method feeder again. Doesn't feel too too heavy. Might be another bream, maybe a roach. There's someone on the other side of the lake over there. Someone's moving. Another player. There we go, there we go, there we go. What do we have in store for us? It is ooh, that is a Oh, it's a Crucian. Interesting. Okay. A Crucian carp. Three dollars. Yeah, fairly. So again, as I mentioned last stream, it's the species of fish that it's believed that the goldfish was bred from, and you can probably tell. So yeah, a specific subspecies of carp. I don't know much about them, I'm afraid. I couldn't really tell you a huge amount about them. I've never caught one in real life. Okay, no more bait in the feeder. We probably need. Hang on. Probably need a bit of ground bait, don't we? I'll bring in some of the big fish. All right. How much? Hang on a minute. How much cash do I have? 61. Let's get some strawberry... So, hang on. Mirror carp. Vanilla. Let's get some vanilla. Equip that in the... Okay, feeder baits. Other ground bait. Vanilla. Vanilla and cinnamon? Right, buy. Equip. Right, watch me cock this up horrendously. You ready? Okay, I'm going to stand up. <laughs> you want me... You watch me fuck this up. Hang on. Did I didn't actually select the bait? Baits, bread, uh, common, crucian, mirror carp. Yeah, bread's fine. Equip. Right, here we go. Right, hold the ground bait. There we go. Now just a gentle throw. Not too bad. That was. Yeah, normally I throw it to the moon and back. Hey, hey fucking. Hey. So, the ground bait will make a nice cloudy particle patch, you see. It will sort of fizzle and, and break apart in the water. Uh, the good ground baits do, at least. And make this nice smelling cloud. And all the other fish will swim in. They're like, ooh, and they'll start circling around. And that's where you cast. Many people actually go days before they go fishing. And they throw some ground, be uh, ground, be ground bait in one area of the water. So that when they arrive to do their fishing session... They'll know that the big fish are in the, that area. Hmm. Okay. At least in VR you won't sink some bait rocket thing into a lake because my line was too weak. Yes, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. So he's referring to a... Um, or a spod, a spod rocket. So spodding, for those not familiar, is the act of what I just said. So ground bait, but flinging it in a pod. Like a, imagine like a plastic toy rocket that breaks in half when it hits the water. So you, you scoop lots of bait into this toy rocket and you fling it. So, so you basically fling it as though it were a hook on the line. You have a dedicated spod spotting rod like a big heavy rod with a very a very 
thick um, and brake resistant line. Yeah, I didn't do that latter bit. I had a shitty little line and my normal rod. So, of course, the rocket just snapped immediately. Oh, another Crucian. Ah. Three dollars, twenty centimeters. Yeah. Yeah. Sell it. Right. Quickly, while the ground bait is out there. Some more feeder baits. Vanilla. Buy. Nine dollars a piece. Okay. Go. No more bait in the feeder. No, no, there's bait in the feeder. There's bread right there. Cool. Ugh. Hmm. A big boilie might dissuade the smaller fish. Indeed, that might be a good idea, Ify. Which is why people use boilies, so the compressed blocks the compressed spheres of insect protein. Uh, I was using I was using a 16 millimeter boilie. Uh, on Wednesday, but I didn't get much attention. They just ignored it. So I'm trying to figure out what that noise is. The dog's somewhere in the flat digging. I can hear her cl claws scratching. Are you right, honey bunny? <clears throat> okay. Hi, Lulu. What are you looking at me like that for? She's sitting at my feet, judging me. Yes, I love you too. Ah, was there a stream yesterday evening? Yes, indeed. Holdfast. We played some Holdfast. Ariel. Oh, bunch of fish swimming around out there. Hmm. I want to scout out the really big fish. The big 20 year old carp that are massive. Oh, hello. Something lifted the method feeder again. Da, 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 da. So, yeah, if you get a chance later, if you're interested, check out on YouTube just like method feeders. And you can see this, th what I'm doing here. It's quite interesting, as in compressed blocks of bait. You can, you can buy specialist mixes these days. Oh, hello. What are you? Ah, another Crucian. Oh, it's a biggie, though. Wow, that's nice, isn't it? 41 centimetres, 0.66 kilogram. Ah. Big, big Crucian. Quite probably a few years old, that one. Ah. <laughs> okay. Sell that one. Right. Yeah, let's have a look and see if we can use a boilie, then. So, vanilla and cinnamon. Equip. Okay. Go to baits. So here they are. So this is a boilie. Bream, grass carp, mirror carp. Equip. There we go. Yeah, give that a whack. See what happens. Oopsie, didn't mean to do that. Fuck's sake. What? Right. Uh, right, so yeah. Same same thing as on is as is on the feeder. Hunter vision. And, yeah, things are a bit small over here. Nevertheless, nevertheless, that's where our ground bait is, so. There we go. <clears throat> right. Ah, hi there, Spruce. Wait, Spruce? O-C? Spruce? Spru uh, sorry, I think it says Spruce. Welcome indeed. Mm. Um, I don't know, Mysterious. Uh, so the only thing I know about the Among Us thing is that uh, uh, we we chat we we spoke about it in the in the clan chat a few days ago. Uh, it was mostly yeah, not sure, but I think since then a couple of us have gotten it. So I don't know, maybe. maybe? Um, don't know. No idea. Hmm. I can feel dog breath on my arm somewhere there's a dog looking up at me from the floor <laughs> Peed it what Pe oh hello something again lifted the feeder let's see if it's any bigger bigger than last time 
No, it feels quite small. Bree, maybe? Let's have a look. It is... Uh, another Crucian. Yeah, we seem to be catching lots of these. Okay. So, 37 centimetres and uh, yeah, 50 kilogram, uh, 0 0.50 kilogram. 50 kilogram, that'd be, that'd be massive. Right, hang on. Pick up the rod pod. Let's have a look around then. Let's look around these lakes. So, I wonder if there's a difference. Hang on, like, but if, if there's like a tench lake or something. Uh, use the hunter vision. Hmm. Trying to spot the really big fish. The big carp. Uh, try... Okay. Oh, there's some pretty big, big looking things over there. Mirror cart, maybe. Hmm. Tell you what, so for now, I'm probably going to go to the trophy room and have a look at what I've caught so far. And then I'll, I'm going to bugger off and get on with work because I've got much to do today. Um, yeah, that was fun though. Especially that big, that big rainbow trout. Holy crap, that was a nice one. That was a nice looking fish, wasn't it? Hang on, got tangled in my chair. I'm just going to move over here. There we go. Right, so let's go to the trophy room. Tournament, inventory, skills, friends. Ah. See, I can get to my friends. Ah, Alistair, rubbish. You haven't caught anything. <laughs> trophy room. Here we go. Maybe it'd be less slidey. Last time it was a bit of a nightmare with the locomotion. So I switched the locomotion off moving... Uh, with your legs. Ooh, okay. So, bull trout. That's a respectable fish. Look at that. So, 6.38 kilograms and 86 centimeters. Cutthroat trout. Uh, what is that? 1.62 kilograms and 67 centimeters. Ooh, pretty. Where is that? <laughs> hey, there it is. Holy moly. Let's go have a look at that one. Uh, Locomotion is going to be weird. Uh, that should probably make it easier like get rid of the okay look at that look at that rainbow trout 9.25 kilograms and uh, one meter and eight centimeters that is a big fish that is a very big fish <sighs> ah. fish 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 and there's my that's a brown trout isn't it I get rid of the banisters. Struggle with locomotion. There we go. Oopsie. Oh, and now I'm in. <laughs> now I'm in the wall. Ah, great. Well, there's a brown trout up there as well. Ah, finally, the shitty little fish that was on that that YouTube video. That's better. See, that's better, everybody. That's what I'm talking about. Crucian carp. There we go. So 0 0.66 kilogram and 41 centimeters. And then a brook trout at 3.21 kilograms and 69 e centimeters. Mm, pretty. Now the other rooms are mostly species that I haven't really got yet, so. Oh wow. What's that up there? Ah. So that's the one I can't pronounce. Eyed? Mm. That's a roach. Ah, okay. What's that over here? That's a pumpkin seed. Mm, hello. Let me get up there. Hang on. Yeah. Nah, this trophy room's a bit... A bit of a pain. Fucking... My God. Hang on. Stupid. Right. What have we got up here then? Oh, wow. 
Right, a northern snakehead. That was the one that I couldn't identify. Okay. So, fish from Japan. Uh, so, 50 centimeters and 0.48 kilograms. Ah, the tench. I do like the tench. Very lovely fish. So, 39 centimeters and 53, 0.53 kilograms. Aha! Okay, so the koi that I caught. So, uh, 53 centimeters and what does it say? Sorry, 1.34 kilograms. So, what's this? Giant barb. When did I catch that? I have no memory of this. Giant barb? When did I catch this fish? 0.64, 3.73 kilograms. Yeah. Looks very similar to a carp. Yeah. Okay, then. Mm. Cool. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was good fun. That was a fun fishing session. Right. I think you can actually get like a big fish. I think like a shark appears there or something. It's like a really big fish that you can get there. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so thank you for watching, everybody. That was a bit of uh, VR... Uh, what is it? A uh, fishing sim. Uh, I've already forgotten the name of the game. Um, <laughs> yeah, but cheers for watching. Right, so I need to head off and get on with work today. So I need to go and edit a video essay. So I need to go and, um, yeah, just, just work on some video essays. If you're not familiar with them, which is possible because they're not public on the channel, uh, please forgive me. I'm trying to trying to get them done. I'm trying to get them done and put on the channel eventually. But uh, yeah, it, it's a it's a bit of a quality control problem. I'm trying to um, yeah get them to the level of quality that I'm I'm really happy with. So yeah, um, that's me. I'm I'm gonna that's, that's me pissing off until later this evening. Have a good one. All the best, and uh, hope to see you soon. Right. Hang on. Who's doing what? Let me just have a quick look and see who's streaming. Hi, Alistair. Hi, man. Yeah, I just uh, I checked the leaderboards and you were at the top because your name starts with A. And of course, you've caught no fish. So <laughs> uh, even though you don't play the game. So that's why. Right. So Sheep is playing golf with your friends. Edberg is also doing golf with your friends. Uh, Digby is doing foxhole. Okay. In which case, I will hand you over to either Digby or Sheep. Digby or Sheep. Ah! Uh, who was the last one I hosted up? Let me hand you over to Sheep. I think I hosted up Digby fairly recently, but Sheep's been a bit of a while. Cool. Right, so Sheep is playing a bit of golf. I will leave you in his company. Thank you again, everybody. See you again soon. And take care, folks. Have a good one. Hang on a minute. Let's just mute. There we go. Where is he? Where is he?